Tippy time, my Damies, Top Cat here, and welcome back to the channel. I love me some raiding, but every time I'm doing the last wish, we get to the vault, and everyone just wants to kill the knights. No one wants to do the puzzle. This video should help even the most dyslexic of you out there master this vault encounter. If it does, please hit that like button before you go in there and do it for yourselves. Jumping straight in, this encounter can be broken up into three segments. Reading, cleansing, and killing. We're going to split up into three teams of two. In each team, we've got a slayer and a reader. Team one is responsible for the stairs. Team two is responsible for the trees and three rocks. Slayers have two jobs. Most importantly, stop the knights from sacrificing on the plate. If they do, that's an instant wipe. And number two, and just as important, be as quiet as a church part. As we want our readers to be able to communicate clearly. Each reader stands on the plate to start the encounter and activate the vault. Our readers will see three symbols on their side. In order from the stairs to trees to rocks, we take turns reading their center symbols. Readers must confirm an ally's center symbol with a symbol on their left or right. Seems simple enough, right? But you're about to be bungee. Left isn't left, it's penumbra. And right isn't right, it's antumbra. This corresponds to the eyes of ribbon you kill inside the rooms. For example, on stairs, Potto reads out his center symbol. He's got chasing tail, that's on my left. So trees is penumbra. I'm at trees, I've got bird on branch, that's on my man Sizzled's right. That makes him antumbra. Sizzled has busted a nut, that's on Potto's left, so he's penumbra. Top tip, say the first two people are the same, either for number or antumbra, the third will automatically be the opposite, as it's always two to one. This can save you precious time when it comes to reading, as the encounter timer starts from when you stand on the plates. Once we know what the plates are, two of the runes will get closed off, so make sure you stay in the center room so you can kill those knights. Don't go past this invisible line here. Pretend for a second your guardian doesn't have knees and can't negotiate staircases. So in this example, Rox is open, Sizzled kills the Eye of Ribbon, picks up the buff. Now either Tree's room or stairs will be open. So Sizzled will run through the tunnels to relieve himself on the plate. He is Penumbra, so he can do so on either Tree's or Rocks. With stairs now open, Potter goes in to repeat the process. Top tip, now that the route has been determined, rocks to stairs, Potto's guaranteed path will be that of stairs to trees. When it's my turn, it's guaranteed that I'll be going from trees through to rocks. Once the third has dunked on their plates, Slayers, you've got about 15 seconds to go into your rooms and collect any ammo before we start it again. Two more times and we're done. Please tell me if this helped at all, sub if you're new. I'm going to show you a full rotation, just so you can see it all in action. Potter reads first. He's got Stripper Dragon in the middle, that's on my left, so Trees is Penumbra. I've got Fish in the Reeds, that's on Sizzled's right. Rox is Ant. Rox's middle symbol is Sassy Bird, that's on Potter's right, so Stairs is Ant. Rock Johnson room is open, Sizzled enters, kills that eye of ribbon. Now the trees room opens up, so he will be rotating round to me. He has Untumbra, so he's chosen to dunk on the rocks plate. I kill my eye and rotate through the stairs. You can use this relic to shoot those phalanxes in that tunnel to avoid getting yourself body checked. I've got pen, so I'm going to Vegeta vs Fat Boo myself on the trees plate. During this time, Potter has entered stairs, has killed the eye, and will be rotating through to dunk on the final plate. So now, just keep an eye out for those knights and wait for your loot. I hope this guide helped, guys. Tippy tie till next time. What a tie!